workouts, and helpful advice. Add this video to your favorites. It will guide you when you train. Next exercise, running jacks. Go. If you are unable to complete this motion, try simple jumping jacks. Avoid hard impact with the floor. Remember to rest your toes on the ground when you descend to lessen the impact and protect the spine. Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. To be able to do this, make sure to keep the abdomens tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, side lunges. Three, two, one. Go. If you can't do it, try bending less the leg. Be sure not to bend your torso sideways. Your back should always be perfectly straight. Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joint. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Keep your abs constantly tight during the exercise to improve balance. Be sure not to bend the outstretched leg. For a better balance, try stretching your arms forward. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, frog squat plus jump. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, do not jump. Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Don't bend or arc your back. Keep it constantly straight to avoid problems. Keep your abs tight throughout the workout. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards. Always keep them in line with your feet. Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joints. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, squat plus front raises. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. When you are performing the descent, be sure not to exceed your toes with your knee. Be sure not to bend your wrists. Your hands should be in line with your forearm. During the descent, do not bend the leg inwardly or outwardly. The knee should always be in line with your feet. Don't lift your heel off the ground during descent. Keep your foot constantly well placed. Do not bend your neck. To help, bring your chin back. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, squat plus lateral shoulder raises. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. When you are performing the descent, be sure not to exceed your toes with your knees. Don't lift your shoulders when bringing up the arms. Keep them constantly down and relaxed. During the descent, do not bend the legs inwardly or outwardly. The knees should always be in line with your feet. Don't lift your heel off the ground during descent. Keep your foot constantly well placed. 
Keep your elbows and hands at shoulder height when you bring your arms up. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, squat plus curl. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Don't swing your back. Try keeping your abs tight. When you are performing the descent, be sure not to exceed your toes with your knees. Don't lift the shoulders. Keep them down and relaxed by concentrating on your biceps. During the descent, do not bend the legs inwardly or outwardly. The knees should always be in line with your feet. Don't lift your heel off the ground during descent. Keep your foot constantly well placed. Be sure not to stretch out your arms to avoid joint problems. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell squat plus butt kicks. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Do not shift your body weight onto the tips of your feet. In order to maximize the effectiveness of the exercise, the force should be placed onto the heels. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent to avoid joint problems. Don't curve your back during this exercise. Keep your abs and glutes constantly tight. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards during the descent phase. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, front lunges plus dumbbell shoulder press. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this movement, bend your legs less. Do not touch the ground with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the pelvis. Don't arc your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Be sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg during the movement. Don't bend your neck. Try bringing your chin back. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, squat with dumbbell shoulder press. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try flexing your legs less during the squat. Don't bend your neck. Try bringing your chin back. When you are performing the descent, be sure not to exceed your toes with your knees. During the descent, do not bend the legs inwardly or outwardly. The knees should always be in line with your feet. Don't lift your heel off the ground during descent. Keep your foot constantly well placed. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, curl plus Arnold press. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Be sure not to stretch out your arms to avoid joint problems. Don't arc your back. Keep your abs constantly tight. Don't bend your wrists during the movement. Keep your hands in line with your forearms. Don't bend your head. Keep it constantly in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point. 
you can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell wide rows on the ground. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights. Don't curve your back during this exercise. Keep your abs and glutes constantly tight. Be sure not to bend your wrists. Your hands should be in line with your forearms. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Keep your elbows and hands at shoulder height when you bring your arms up. Don't lift your shoulders when bringing up the arms. Keep them constantly down and relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise. Side to Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Don't bend your raised arm. Keep it constantly outstretched. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't bend your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Water break. Go. Next exercise, dumbbell side lunges with jump. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, do not jump and try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Be sure not to curve your back during the movement. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent. Don't lift your heel during the lunge. Your foot must always be firmly on the floor. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weight. Five. Four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell rear lunges plus twist. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Don't bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abs constantly tight. Make sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg. Don't touch the floor with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the basin. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell step back plus knee kick. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all.
Don't bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abs constantly tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Keep your abs constantly tight during the exercise to improve balance. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, Dumbbell Standing Full Side Crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Don't bend the neck sideways to avoid forcing it. Be sure not to lean the bust forward. The shoulders should be in line with your hips. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, dumbbell standing crunch with outstretched leg. Three, two, one. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Keep your shoulders and head straight throughout the whole exercise. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you. Be sure not to bend your leg when you lift it. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, dumbbell front lunges. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Do not touch the ground with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the pelvis. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abdominals tight in order to be able to do this. Be sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg during the movement. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, jumping jacks plus squats. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try doing a simple squat. When you are performing the descent, be sure not to exceed your toes with your knees. Do not curve your back while performing the exercise. To be able to correctly do this, maintain the abdominals and the glutes well contracted. During the descent, do not bend the legs inwardly or outwardly. The knee should always be in line with your feet. Don't lift your heel off the ground during descent. Keep your foot constantly well placed. Don't bend your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, Dumbbell Full Standing Twist. Three, two, one, 
go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Don't bend or curve your back. Keep the abdomen constantly tight to stabilize the spine and avoid injuries. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards. They should constantly be in line with your toes. Keep your abs and butt constantly tight to maximize the effectiveness of the exercise. Don't lift your heel off the ground during descent. Keep your foot constantly well placed. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, Dumbbell Standing Cross Crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Keep the abdomen constantly tight. Do not strain your neck. Stare at a fixed point in front of you to help you. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, dumbbell sumo squat, touching the ground. Three, two, one. Go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards. Always keep them in line with your feet. Don't bend or arc your back. Keep it constantly straight to avoid problems. Keep your abs tight throughout the workout. Be sure not to raise your heels off the floor. Never exceed the tip of your foot with the knee to avoid damaging the joints. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell full crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Be sure never to lift the lower back off the floor to avoid back problems. To be able to correctly do this, constantly maintain the abdominal muscles tight. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. To avoid straining the neck, keep your eyes on your belly button. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, dumbbell twist on the ground plus lateral punch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Keep your abs constantly tight to avoid burdening the spine. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. 
Next exercise, dumbbell floor press plus butt lifts. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Keep your elbows and hands at shoulder height when you bring your arms up. Be sure not to bend your wrists. Your hands should be in line with your forearms. Don't force your neck. Keep your head still and resting on the floor. You can use water bottles or books as alternatives to the small weights. Be sure not to raise your shoulder blades off the floor during the exercise. Be sure not to lift your lower back off the floor. Keep the abs constantly tight. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. Next exercise, dumbbell butt lifts. 3, 2, 1. Go. If you can't do it, try using lighter weights or not using them at all. Never put your butt on the ground during descent in order to keep the contraction constant. Be sure not to raise your shoulder blades off the floor during the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, spine stretching. Three, two, one, go. Make sure not to lift the lower back during the entire exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching hamstrings. Three, two, one, go. Be sure not to bend your legs throughout the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching arms, chest, and shoulders. Three, two, one, go. Be sure not to bend your back. Try staring at a point in front of you. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching shoulders and the dorsal on the ground. Three, two, one, go. Do not force the upward thrust. Stop when your shoulders have reached their limit. Do not curve your back and neck. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Try out our full workout plans. More info in the description below.